Why don't you like yourself? I was hanging from a rope a few days ago. Do you get the enormity of that? I know, but you didn't die. You're alive. Am I? That's the beauty of life. One minute, your world can be at its darkest, and then the sun rises, and you see the world in a whole new light. Wow. Uh, the Enormity of Life, I love the title, comes out tomorrow. It is written and directed by a Clevelander. Filmed right here in Northeast Ohio, has songs from Cleveland artists, and almost all of the cast is from Northeast Ohio. Really incredible, including actress Emily Kinney, who joins us live. It is great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us, Emily. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> Happy so, to be here. Uh, we'll talk about this film and all of the incredible Ohio connections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was really fun. I'm not from Ohio. I'm from Nebraska, but mm -hmm. um, like you guys said, a lot of the other actors were, and so um, that was really cool. And you know, they would tell us where to go for ice cream, and <laughs> um, I think it was Mitchell's. Is that oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. For yeah, so we got, one day we got ice cream from there. Um, I got tacos from Barrio. Yum. Found a good coffee spot. So yeah, I got um, since we were there for a while, I got to know Cleveland a little bit. So where were around. some of the cities and areas that you guys were filming in? You know, since I'm not as familiar, I don't really remember the names. Right. Were you downtown? <laughs> I, I was staying mostly downtown, oh, yeah. Yes, so that yeah. was that was fun because I could like walk around and. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah. tell us tell us about the movie, The Enormity of Life. Uh, that sounds pretty heavy. What, what's the movie about? Yeah, I mean, it's um, there's definitely like fun, funny moments, and it's two people really getting to know. They're two neighbors um, getting to know each other through this movie, but it it is. It is kind of heavy. I mean, I think when you go into it, just knowing it, it does tackle some pretty um, intense subject matter. So, um, so yeah, it is the <laughs> it is a little bit of a heavier film, but um, you know, in in life, there's a lot of humor too. So, uh, yeah, in in the movie, there's um, there's some humor as well, and there's just like some nice getting to know you type scenes. Yeah. What do, What do you play now? What What's your role? Talk about Talk about the character you portray. Yeah, um, well, I play a single mom. Giselle plays my daughter. I work at a, um, a diner, and um, that's how I first meet um, Brecken's characters at this diner. But I've, I've seen him before, so um, he actually lives in my building and just, like, never really even noticed me. But um, in, this, in the first interactions in the beginning of the movie, um, we have this interaction and we sort of, become friends from, from then on. But um, yeah, I think both of us are a little bit, I don't want to say, ice, yeah, a little bit isolated. I don't Maybe don't have a lot of people that we can count on. Mm. Um, and so I think through that, we kind of bond a little bit. Now, we keep hearing, you know, the dialogue about mental illness has been coming up more and more, especially over the last year with yeah, people yeah. Um, being isolated and in quarantine. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, how it really encourages communication in regard to mental illness, this film. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the film shows someone battling with some mental illness necessarily gives you like a guide, you know, I, I feel like the show is really just kind of like a slice of, of these people's lives and how they're dealing with the things that they're going through. But I, I don't know if the movie is necessarily like a guide for dealing with mental illness or anything like that. Um, you know, like so much art. I think it's just kind of showing one one person's story, not mm. necessarily like a lesson. Sure. Real quickly, you got a you got an album out and all of that. Talk about that. I do. Yeah, I'm very excited. I have a show tonight, um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to sleep a little more after this interview, <laughs> so my voice is rested. But I'm gonna. I've got a show tonight at Hotel Cafe that can be live streamed, and I have a new album out next year or next week, and it's called The Supporting Character, and the songs. Um, Songs kind of are, you know, through the lens of being an actor, like different things that I've experienced in my life. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it to be out in the world. I've been working. Okay, on it. Emily, real quick before we go, 
-hmm. Either you have a twin or I see you on Hallmark Channel. <laughs> I have been on Hallmark Channel, oh, yes. Okay. You yes. Got a good so <laughs> I love I love you. You're you're a great actress. Yeah. And right Thank as I you. see you pop up, I'm like, I know I see her, and that's all I do on weekends Hallmark late at Channel. night. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when God. I get great fall asleep. Yeah. So I think that's some good movies on there too. Well, you are adorable, <laughs> and uh, we thank you for being with us, and we're glad you enjoyed your time in Cleveland while you were here. Yeah, it was awesome. All Thank right. you. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Good luck at the show tonight. Thank you. All right. Bye. How Bye -bye. sweet. Very nice lady. Adorable. Yeah, right? you've seen her on Hallmark Channel. Huh? Yeah, she's great. <laughs> she's <laughs> adorable.